Hi guys, it's Tuesday, and today I'll be talking about does the T belong in LGB TQ. <laughs> um, I've actually talked about this at my college and in my job because I work in the LGBTQ center on my campus, and personally, I don't think so. Here's why. L, the L, G, the B, the L, G, and the B are sexual orientations. While being transgendered refers to one's gender identity, I would never refer to myself as being transgendered because I'm not a, that's not a sexual orientation. I'm transgender. That's my gender identity. I represent myself as male. Taking that a little bit further, my sexual orientation would have to be with the G, would be gay because I am a transgendered I'm a transgender male, but I am gay. The, and here's why I think that um, when I try to explain to my friends my sexual orientation, they get it confused because they're like, oh wait, I thought you were transgender. And being a female to male, that of, to them that means that I'm transitioning to a male because I like women. No. I was never a lesbian or really even bi before I came out as transgender. I'd always liked men. I always knew I liked men. I have like three Justin Bieber posters in my room and a One Direction poster. Uh, I'm pretty sure I like men. So I think that having the T in the LGBTQ, in LGBTQ kind of makes it more confusing in terms of understanding. Um, that's transgender. Um, such as myself, and understanding my sexual orientation. Um, another thing is, it's just, it's just a little odd. I mean, I'm, on one hand, I'm glad that the T is represented, um, in LGBTQ, because while putting the T in there doesn't necessarily mean that we're represented, it's something. I mean, it could just be lesbian, gay, bi, and queer. I think that I think that either way, if the T was there, if the T was not there, there would be an issue. But I guess now that I've actually transitioned, I see that the T being there is problematic. Whereas if I was pre-transitioned, maybe I wouldn't have thought that if that makes sense because I just wanted a place to fit in. But I mean, having been transgender since I was young and learning about what it actually meant since I was about 17 and then transitioning really quickly after I learned what it was, by transitioning I mean starting T, I'd have to say that the T doesn't really fit in with the LGBTQ community. I mean, I go to pride parades and you see the lesbian, lesbian, gays, lesbians, and bisexual people being the majority, being represented. Mm. Transgender people have their own little space, have their own little spaces put aside and all of these other things. So I think there's a lot of discussion to be made around this topic. But if you're asking me personally if Petit should be there, I don't think so. I think it, makes, I think it just makes everything more confusing. Being transgender isn't a sexual orientation. You can't be transgendered. A person can only be transgender. I am transgender. I do represent as male. I was female prior to me being male right now. Granted, I never felt female. That's how society saw me. But now that I am, now that I have transitioned, I'm, I represent as male. And me being male, male is my sexual orientation. I'm gay. That's my sexual orientation. Me being transgender is just a part of that. And furthermore, because of the confusion with the sexual orientation and gender identity, I don't tell people I'm transgender anymore. I just say gay. Because when I tell people I'm transgender and then tell them that I'm gay, it becomes all confused. Rather, when I just say I'm gay, people are like, oh yeah, well duh. But if I were to say transgender, it would be like, what? Are you transition from female to male to date male, blah, blah, blah. So I just think it creates a lot of confusion. So yeah, I'm sorry if this, if I sounded really confusing, and I'm sorry that my hair is a mess, but I was actually in bed listening to Justin Bieber live music videos. Okay, anyway.
actually he was in his concert in Mexico. Anyway, I love you all and I will see you all next Tuesday. And I did this video on time. Yay. I hope everybody had a good Monday. I hope everybody will have a happy Tuesday. And I hope everybody will have a great week.